Now, a friend of mine asked me if I could tie a Bewley Snowfly uh, as a Temple Dog style fly and uh, this is the, the fly I came up with, uh, the pattern. Uh, nice fly, nice colour, I mean the peacock herald for the wing and a bit, a bit of black in there to support it uh, with a bit of lash or so. Uh, it, nice colour combination, tied with a turbo disc in the front to give it a bit more movement. Now you could use weighted, a weighted tube but, uh, uh, so to get it down a wee bit, but uh, he wants it on a plastic tube so I'm going to show you how to tie it because it is a nice looking fly. And the Bewley Snowfly is a, is a good pattern. Now the outer tubing is a, a blue glitter, this one here. And the inner, I'm just going to use like an orange, fluorescent orange. Now I've cut, this is a, about an inch and a quarter. You cut it into a point. Just so it tapers, just like this. And then I'm going to melt the end of the inner tubing. Just lightly. And allow that to cool down. And then what we do is we just push it in all the way to around about say half an inch from the back. And then what I like to do is trim this about half an inch off the front so give me plenty of room to work with. Put it onto your this is a tube fly adapter with a pin. Just push it in. Then what I do is I tighten it up onto the, the tube here. Screw it down tight, that holds it nice. You need the support of the, the needle so it doesn't bend. Thread colour, I'm just going to use a uni thread in black, in this case, the AO. Now it's a really simple fly. We just start the thread at the front, start at the inner tubing, then work our way up onto the, the outer tubing, and work our way to the back. Now I'm going to put a silver tag at the back. Just going all the way up to the this point here, this is where the small lip of the inner tubing is sitting. So I take the thread to that point and that helps to hold it. Now for the tag I'm using the holographic silver tinsel. Now catch this on. Nice and tight. And to protect that, it's always best to wind over some, in this case this is some Fully mill super glue with the brush, and then we do a looking couple of turns and tie off. For the tail, I'm using a polar fibre and hot orange. Yeah, it could be fluorescent orange, or it could be flora fibre, whatever you like to put in the tail, or just even leave it off to yourself. The original fly doesn't have a tail, if I remember right, so. I'm just going to add this because this helps support the wing. You're looking for a tail length, right about the length of the outer tubing. Just set that on the top. I'll make sure there's wax on my thread at this point. Nice and tight. Then we cut this at an angle from the top towards the back so that I'm going to taper it down onto the, the tubing the, towards the inner tubing. Now for the rib, it could be a an oval silver tinsel uh, or a flat tinsel which I'm going to use. This is a medium size flat tinsel. Like a lager tin or something would be good. I always like to, because it's a tinsel, I always like to give it a wee clean. Just run it through a cloth. Just to shine it up. Because it's a tinsel as I say. Now when you tie this, it may back down. I'm going to put it on the top and then dubbing. I actually blended this dubbing. What this is is a, a light bright, a blue light bright. It's got Arctic Fox dyed blue. Uh, just blended in through it. It's just a nice light blue or a sparkly dubbing. You could add a wee bit of pearl in it or something, but I think that's fine. In the original, it's just blue seals for. So if you dub this on, you'll see that it dubs on really well. I use the coffee grinder to blend it together. And then when you wind on, you can stretch it out. And when you're using, say, forks or anything, and you're cleaning the hair out, 
you look at it, it's really good dubbing. If you blend that into some flash or whatever, it works extremely well. You can see how easy it dubs. Just spin it when you need to tighten it up. Just work it up the body. You get a nice mix of natural fibre and synthetic. And obviously we have a bit of shine. You drop more. Now I'm going to put a body hackle on the fly. A large black, in this case this is a Chinese black. Now just going to tie it in. Always be as if you touch a wax on your thread at this point, just to give it an extra grip. Now turn it or sew at the top and then work your way down into your third turn, come round with your tinsel, catch it. Now rub your fly on the way up. This point what I do is draw back the fibres. This half turn of the rib, just bring it to the in this case it's on to the actual in, inner tubing. Now, because I'm using a, a tinsel that's sharp, so it's always best to have a bit. Make sure you've got wax as well. This helps to basically stop the thread getting cut. Trim away your waist of the hackle. Now, don't normally do that, but trim away your wire, uh, tinsel. And again, secure this in. What I'm going to do here is just bring out some of the flash with the Velcro. Somebody asked me what this is. This is just a lollipop stick. And I buy the Velcro, a sticky back Velcro, and I stick it to it, both ends. Well, I've lost one end, as you can see. But I can I just take these off and replace it. And it's ideal for bringing out any flash or dubbing that you need. And just draw it back. Now, for the support the ring or under ring, I'm going to use Silver Fox Dye Black. Now, this is off the tail. It's long, quite nice and long. So, shoot fibres out. Trim it close to the tail. Just going to run it through a wee comb I've got in my desk here. And what I like to do is just taper these cut ends so that it looks more natural like, as you can see there. So what I'm going to do is tie this forward. Now, if you're looking for a length, check your length first before you do this. Just towards the end of the tail, just slightly tapering away from it. So underneath, and this waist end will act this part of the underwing as well. So again, we're going to make sure there's wax in the thread. A few turns in there. And then what we're going to do is use a trusty hair dryer. Now the dryer is on warm. But a cold setting would do the same. Uh, it's just that if I put it in a cold setting, it'd be too strong. Now I've got. I'll show you what it does. It just lift it up and then spread the fibres. Just allow the hair dryer to sort of hold it back. Just use Just pull it and allow it to sort of sit. And then we, when we're happy, we can come in here and put a few turns to just in front of the hair, not on the hair. This will hold it, and this acts as your underwing. Now, a wee bit of flash because of the green and the peacock pearl. I'm using this is a Highland Green flash, which is a pearl, gold, and green sort of mix. So, I'm looking for like a strand of each, is plenty. And uh, what I'm going to do then, I've got another one here which has got a wee bit of gold as well as pearl. So I'm going to blend together. This one's called Kaula Green. Again, you don't need much, just pull it out. You can put other colour or flash that you have, it could just be normal pearl and uh, a bit of silver maybe, something like that. Something that's in the same colour combinations as the fly. Two or three turns down and catch it. Have a look, look at the length. Just draw it back and then we can trim. Trim away the excess. I think it's okay. Now we could have a brush here, you can brush it. That's fine. Peacock kettle, it's got a peacock. Now what I normally like to do is take some from either side. You can put as many on as you like. Now I'm going to put so, three 
Now when you're bringing these fibres out, I'm looking for them to line up. Now you can see here there's, there's, there's actually one broken, I don't want that, so... Take out of the way. Get these close to lined up. And then tear it away. Turn it around so you've got the left side. And again, you just bring them out, you'll see them lining up with the rest, and then you tear them away from the tail. Now have a look. Now, what I like to do is just get my nail, run it, run it underneath. See, you get a nice curve. Just get the length that you want, obviously, tapering by the black. Set it on the top. Now, you could put more on, it's up to yourself, but I'm quite happy with six. Now, see how they're sitting. I'm just going to show you a couple there heading to the moon, as you can see. But we can sort that. Just get the hair dryer. And then, you can lift the fibres forward, just see how they're sitting. You can always go back. At this point, you can see how the wing is going with the rest of the fly, and you can stop. And that, that'll fine. Now once this is in the water, it'll, it'll start to sort of take on that nice shape that you're looking for. And uh, so don't worry too much if you've got, as I say, some head in the wrong way. It will work. Now, two jungle cock eyes. Now, you want long jungle cock eyes. Now, it's, uh, it's just a preference for the, this friend of mine. He likes them really long. So, get the length. Pull them. Make a space for it. Offer them down either side. And we can then catch this in with two or three turns. And before we do anything, we can check the length. If we're happy with the length, make sure there's wax on your thread. Oops. That slipped there. Just check again. If you're happy again, see it tighten up. We can draw these back, fold them back. Uh, make sure that they don't pull out. Trim away the waste. And then what I'm going to do is get a, This is a Chinese cock hackle. It's a nice hot orange. Then we tie it in close to the tip. And this is going to tidy the head area up. Fill this space that we've just made. You've got wax on your thread. Now you could use an orange thread, you would much easier to hide the turns of the orange, trim away the waste. But I'll sort it. So what we do is you probably realise that I like to fold the hackle on the once I've tied it in, just draw it back and then we're doing the turn in front of the other and don't be shy with the hackle. Put plenty of tail in there. Straight turns, nice straight turns. Working right down towards the thread. There we go. Catch this in. Nice and tight. Again, just a wee bit of wax on the thread. Now, trim this away. Just watch your thread when you do that. And then just pull out the fibres, get it to sit right. So you quite look, see things are sitting the way you want. That's fine, that looks alright. Now I'm going to put finish. Then I'll put the turbo disc. Now you could put a cone head for weight, you could do what you like. Now it could be, I'm putting on a black turbo disc. This is a small. What I'm going to do is put some of the super glue, the filling mill super glue, all the way around. And then push it up nice and tight. Let it stick. Then we quickly learn so that's set. We can then what I like to do is take it from the holder. Trim this for about a mil and a half away from the disc, two mil at the most. 
and then just melt it up against it. And I'm going to just put the needle through the hole to make sure it's open. There we are. That's uh, just a version of the really snowfly. You see, it's quite a nice pattern, it's a nice sh shape. Uh, it's a nice taper in it, colour combination, you really can't go far wrong. Body's nice, nice colour, and that blue tubing works with it. Uh, you could use whatever tubing you like. Uh, the disc, again, as to see, you can put a cone head or something on that. So there we are, and that's uh, the Beerly Snowfly. Uh, or a variant of the blue is a Beulah Snowfly tied in this Temple Dog style. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>